Good day, this is Ray. Today is Saturday, March 18th, 2023 for me. Another day of social distancing. Hope that you, family, friends, and loved ones are doing well and staying safe. Uh, I am in a pain this morning. Significant pain, actually. Hands hurt, knees hurt, uh, feet hurt, back hurts. Everything hurts. And uh, the reason for that is because I put together a kitchen island yesterday. Now, the kitchen island itself doesn't weigh that much. It's about 60, 70 pounds. And it didn't take me that long to put together. But just that little activity alone caused this amount of pain <clears throat> because I... I I uh, suffer with uh, lupus. I was diagnosed almost four years ago, uh, May 2019. And, um, you know, I've been dealing with pain for a number of years. I'm not exactly sure when that started. But, you know, it is frustrating because I know today is going to be a wasted day. I pretty much just, uh, I'm going to record this video and probably go and lay down the rest of the day, uh, do some reading studying for this course that I'm taking to, towards my career designation. Uh, wanted to get my grocery shopping done today, but that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, so Cooking with Ray. I know that's an interesting title. This is not going to become a cooking channel. Um, it's just something that I want and need to do. So, two years ago, May, I started budgeting with Brad Long at ZeroDebtCoach.com. And because of that, a lot of things have changed. Because of budgeting, my spending habits have changed. I don't eat out. Um, I don't order DoorDash or anything like that. You know, I've been mostly having, uh, like, frozen pan meals and uh, easy things to prepare. Uh, uh, some some other things, but you know I don't really spend a lot of time in the kitchen. It's for me. It's always been something that's been intimidating. But you know I've reached a point where it's like okay, I, I just really need to go in and tackle these things. And what's the best way to do that? Start from scratch. Start with the basics. So budgeting. For me, it's changed a lot um, about the way I see things. Budgeting and finances in particular is extremely intimidating to me. You know, something just not talked about by anybody, family, friends, uh, associates. It's just, you know, not not brought up. Uh, I, I knew I wanted to tackle that after I got sick. Uh, finances in particular. And it was 2021 when I started tracking my debt. At that time, it was only consumer debt. And it was uh, 97K, February 2021. Uh, as of today, I am uh, down to 65,000. Several ways to go. But, you know, because budgeting has changed the game for me, it's made pretty much, not, not everything else, less intimidating. But most things, not as intimidating because I had to be patient, you know. Uh, I was fortunate in that before I started budgeting, I was keeping strict track of my finances. I, I knew exactly to the penny what my debt was when I, you know, met Brad Long. And that helped. So I just needed to change a few things and I needed to figure out how to allocate my money towards uh, buying items. And then I became a homeowner at the end of that year. That was a whole scary thing. Uh, and yeah, so went through that all last year. It was my first year budgeting for a home. And yes, it was intimidating. It was scary. But I feel like I, I have a better control and a better idea of uh, uh, how to manage this place, how to you know be able to, to live day to day uh, for medications, doctor's appointments, use my 
health care plan to the to the max. And uh, at the beginning of this year, I had listed my goals, and one of the goals was to become a better cook. And you know, it's funny, but this is you know, it's, it's, it's intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I have a decent sized kitchen now. I have the kitchen island, and I'll be able to really kind of stretch out and uh, get better at cooking. What's funny is uh, I picked up this book and I listed in the description below. It's called uh, How to Cook Everything. This is book one, The Basics by Mark Bidman. And it's, it's a, it seems like a really good book. I started from the beginning, looked at some of the things I would need for my kitchen and I already had most of those things thanks to actually my mom who when I was diagnosed with lupus I was down to 145 pounds I couldn't take care of myself uh, she had come out and my sister had come out west to take care of me and they got a lot of stuff for me so I have a have a lot of the things that I need for the kitchen already and you know I definitely feel good about that but I hardly utilize any of those things and now's the time uh, but you know I'm starting at the beginning of this book and it talks about all the cooking techniques there are such as uh, boiling simmering or gently boiling steaming sauteing stir frying searing or browning braising baking roasting broiling grilling pan frying and deep frying out of that list, guess how many of those things I could do? Um, I can boil. Yeah, I can, I can boil. I can uh, bake a little. Very little. And that's about it. Uh, so I, I suck. I'm starting from scratch. These are, you know, cook, basic cooking techniques that everybody should know. And, I, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm embarrassed somewhat to say, you know, that I don't know this stuff, but... I've got to start from somewhere. I started with the basics and everything always matters. You know, I, I would go back to my musician days when I had to learn how to play scales. And then the scales led to learning how to read chord progressions. And then that led to learning how to read lead sheets where you have, you know, chords above uh, the melody. And then you, you, know, you play the melody and you improvise with the chord progressions and all those things. Then I learned music theory. Then I learned how to arrange music. I learned how to write music and all those things. But it's always, always go back to the basics. Go back to the scales. And so, you know, when it comes to budgeting, of course, keeping track of your finances, that's the basics. But then learning how to allocate those funds, that's the next step. And, you know, learning about investing, that's going to be the next step, an emergency fund and building a full emergency fund and being able to budget for things. You know, when I bought this kitchen island, I actually have been saving a few dollars every month to be able to get it. I could have bought that a while ago by putting it on credit, but I was like, well, I didn't budget for it, so I can't pay for this thing right now. And I was hoping that my family would give me a, a house for me, I guess. But, you know, it's been 15 months. I ain't gotten a thing. I'm not mad about it. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not mad at all. Uh you know, but I, I knew it's something I, I wanted to get, and you know, finally I said, okay, I got enough. I actually had a, enough a little while ago, but you know, I've been focusing on building my baby emergency fund up again. I've got to get this, this thing going, and uh, as soon as I become comfortable in the kitchen, that's going to be another thing that I can check off and say, okay, great, I got that. What's the next thing to take off? And that's, of course, taxes. I don't want to pay anybody to do my taxes anymore. Uh, last year, this year, of course, being a homeowner, I did pay somebody to do it, but there are a lot of resources out there for me to be able to learn that and to, to do it and not have to worry about that. So this is just the beginning. I'm going to bring up, you know, probably from week to week, month to month, how progress is going, the things I've been making and, uh, I'm just gonna roll with it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, next week, I will bring. I'll talk about where I am in my debt 
paid our journey for the year. It's the end of the first quarter, hard to believe. And uh, we're progress on making towards those. And where, I, where I'm at was my emergency fund. Okay, if you made it this far, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. You'll know when I post my videos. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash at Chronicles of Rape. Feel free to share. And uh, I will see you soon. You all take care.